Okay, so the first thing you need to do is join the Paper Mario Modding Discord server. To do that, you can use the link in the description, or you can go on Discord, go onto the discovery page like this, type in Paper Mario, and join the Paper Mario Modding server. Next, we're going to open the Starrod channel. To do that, you can press Control K, which will bring up this, type Starrod, and it will send you to Starrod. Then we're going to go to the pinned messages and download Starrod. For this tutorial, I'm not going to use Starrod 0.5.3 because it's a little bit buggy. I'm going to use 0.5.2, which is the previous release, and you can download it at this link here. This will open up a Google Drive, and to download from Google Drive, simply press this download button up here. Okay, so once that's downloaded, you can go ahead and extract the zip. So right click on it, press extract all, and then I'm gonna extract it to my desktop right next to it. Okay, so now we have the folder and the folder open. At this point, you can go ahead and delete the, uh, the star old zip because we've extracted it now. Okay, before we open Starrod, you're going to need two things. One is Java. If you don't have Java, then you could download it at the link in the description. And we're also going to need an empty folder for our mod. So I'm going to call mine tutorial mod. There it is. So now if we open up Starrod by running the exe or the jar, it doesn't really matter. The exe is more like to work if you're on Windows, but Starrod does work on Mac and it works on Linux as well. Starrod tells us it can't find a Starrod config, so we'll tell it to create a new one. And then it asks us to select a directory to use for our mod. We've already made this directory, so let me find it. It's called tutorial mod. There it is. Then it asks us to make a new mod config. I'm going to say yes. And to select a clean Paper Mario ROM. So, Starrod requires a US release Paper Mario ROM in the Z64 format. The Japanese and PAL releases are less supported. I think they are somewhat supported now, but most mods use the US release. I've got that in this folder here called ROM. It is somewhat important to have the ROM uh, in its own folder like this, uh, and the reason for that will become apparent as soon as I open it. So in my desktop, it's this folder called ROM, and I'm going to pick that. Star will then validate that it is actually what it expects. Now we have the Starrod Mod Manager open. We can see that the mod folder selected is the tutorial mod folder and the target ROM folder. The target ROM is this one here in this folder. I'm going to press dump ROM assets. This will take quite a long time, no matter how good your PC is. Um, what Starred is effectively doing right now is if I open up the ROM folder, it will create a folder next to it called dump, uh, which will contain all of the game data that Starrod knows how to extract from Paper Mario, which is pretty much everything. Okay, so after a bit of waiting, all assets have been dumped, we can press OK. The next thing to do is press copy assets to mod. We'll say yes. Now it says ready to begin modding, press OK. We're now ready to begin modding. If we open Starrod again, so close it and then reopen it like this. You'll see we get lots more options available to us. We'll go into these in future tutorials. For now, I'm going to open the mod manager again. And I'm just going to compile the mod. Compile means apply the changes we've made to the mod and produce a new ROM that we can run. Um, I'm going to compile the mod, but we're going to edit the options first just to check the start working OK. So we see all these options here. Let's just go to Debug and press Enable Debug Information. I'm also going to go to Options and click Pack Script Opcode Length. Um, this is because it lets you make more changes later down the line. If your mod gets big for whatever reason, this will help with that. Press OK, and then I'm going to press Compile Mod. When that's done, what it will do is in the Tutorial Mod folder, it's going to create a folder called Out. There we go, it's just finished. It's going to create this folder called out, and in there, it has our ROM. You'll note that this ROM is actually 41 kilobytes, as opposed to the original game's ROM, which is 40 kilobytes. It's modded. There's more stuff in it. We can then run this in whatever emulator you want to run in. On Windows, I'm going to use Project 64, but you can use whatever you like. Give that a second. 
And then we can see skip the intro sequence, skip the developer logos, which means it is modded. And at the bottom it says Star on 0.5.2, and we have it all working. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll be making some more tutorials soon. And if you're watching this as it comes out, the Paper Mario modding server is currently doing a bit of a competition, a game jam, to make the best mod you can in the next eight weeks. And there are prizes available, uh, including like a hundred pounds, a hundred dollars. Um, so, yeah. Please like and subscribe. Cheers.